Today we have some very, very, very big news, which many of you guys may have seen already if you follow any of us on Twitter or any social media platforms. But today it's been officially confirmed that we are number one best selling authors. So today the Sunday Times announced the charts and we found out today that we are officially the number one bestsellers of this week. I managed to get 26,000 plus uh, sales in our first week of sales. Uh, all of you guys out there buying said book right here, this one. So thank you guys so, so much, everyone who actually went out and bought this or pre-ordered it or even came to our books, which I'll get onto later. But you have basically just made us number one best-selling authors. I never thought in my life I'd be an author in the first place, but then to be a number one best-selling author is just insane. So all that plugging, all that pushing that we've done, it's been worth it. And thank you to you guys for supporting us and actually going out there and buying it. I couldn't thank you guys enough. You've actually made Ethan a number one best-selling author without even having an English GCSE. So I'm sure he can go back to his school one day and be like, you know what? F you. You, don't, you, can, you can achieve anything, you put your mind to it. But on top of that, there are also some rewards for you guys uh, for us uh, becoming number one. Firstly, uh, the biggest one, JJ is going bald. That big long set of hair that he's got, or the horrible hair that he's got in his book cover, I don't know if you can see it that well. But all that hair is finally going. So you guys can stop commenting on his videos saying sort your hair out. But he's going completely bald and I'm sure we'll be doing that soon. But he is currently on his uh, European music tour. Um, so he'll be back soon. When he's back, we will do it and we will film it. And I'm sure it'll go on the Sideband channel. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And on top of that, even we're dressing up as a clown in videos for a week or aka Mr. Tumble, uh, because that is what, in this book, that is what, we have like celebrity lookalikes in this book, a little spoiler alert. There's a section, it's like celebrity lookalikes of all of us. Ethan's one was Mr. Tumble, so he has agreed to dress up as Mr. Tumble for a week. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give away some books as well. I need to work out when I'm gonna give them away, so I'd follow me on Twitter, uh, and I'll probably announce then uh, what the giveaway will be. I'm gonna give away some books, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sign them all, and if I can, I'm gonna get the rest of the house guys to sign them as well. And I'll give away like 10 or 20 of those. And just people who haven't got them yet, or people who have got them, I want to get a signed version, I will do that. But that is it for the book. But thank you guys so, so much. I love guy. We can't thank you guys enough uh, for buying it. We appreciate it so much. The support has been awesome on this. And things like this allow us to do bigger projects because obviously people now see, oh, like, who the hell is Simon? Why do they get one book? We can do bigger projects for you guys in the future. Now, moving on from that, uh, last week uh, I went to Paris once more with Ethan, Toby, and Vic. Uh, last time it was just me, Ethan, and Toby. This time Vic added to the roster. Um, but yeah, we went back to Paris with some more Watch Dogs 2. Before on this channel, you saw a vlog be going to Paris to play some Watch Dogs. This time, we're going to play some online multiplayer. And we actually got some gameplay this time. So, on my second channel, I'm going to link it in the description below and at the end of this video as well with the little new annotations that we get. Um, I'm gonna link a Watch Dogs 2 multiplayer funny moments with me and Ethan. It's actually pretty funny and the game is actually awesome. You guys should check it out. Uh, so the gameplay, as like I said, is on my second channel. I'll link in the description below and I'll put it into this video. But I did also bring my friend Con with me uh, from university who like was one of my best friends when I was at uni. And he filmed the full part video for me recently as well. Probably gonna try and bring him on some more stuff with me just to try and help me film. So when I'm doing like a day where I'm going out somewhere and I need to vlog, I haven't got that much time to vlog, I'll bring him along with me so he can film me whilst I'm doing what I'm doing. I can still get a video out of it and show you guys what I'm doing when I'm on the move. Uh, so he filmed a quick one minute 30, like highlight reel everything from the day. So I'm gonna play that now and I'll be back with you in a bit. Line up my camera. This one's for the viewers. <laughs>
Now moving on from that, some more celebrations were had uh, last week this time, and that was because we hit three years as the Sidemen. So obviously the Sidemen were formed officially on October the 19th, 2013. Remember that, so we needed the facts. That's a big fact right there. We was originally called the Ultimate Sidemen, and we changed it to The Sidemen, and now it's just Sidemen. I much prefer, like I hate all that side of it, I honestly hate it. But obviously I can't knock it because that is how we started all this, this whole magical thing that's happened. But yeah, we celebrated hitting three years ago, our three year anniversary, and we celebrated in pretty darn good style. Last year we did a fan like secret event, plus also a YouTuber and industry event, which is like a party in the evening, and daytime was a meetup. This year we just did a party uh, for YouTubers and industry, and we, last time we did a party at uh, Arsenal Stadium Emirates, but this time we did it at the top of the Shard. So it's probably the best ever venue you could ever celebrate something at. It's the top two floors of the Shard, the tallest building in Europe, and you can just see the whole of London. There's all of us, like literally like 200 YouTubers and friends, all top two floors of the Shard, looking over the whole of London. It was awesome. So big thank you to the Shard uh, for letting us use their facilities to have a sick party. I'll link their social media down below. Please, if you guys can say thank you to them, uh, that would be awesome because they were actually awesome in letting us use that. I'm also showing you some footage on screen of the party and what it looked like. And that footage is from Alex, who is a YouTuber called Mars Bar. He's a YouTuber that I watch all the time, actually. And I'll link his video down below where he vlogged a bit of it. Uh, and I'll just link his channel in general because he has a very good channel. You can check him out if you like watching daily vlogs. And now the final point of today's video is obviously, like I mentioned earlier in the video, we went on a book tour very recently, the weekend just gone. We visited three cities in three days, three stadiums. We did St. James's Park in Newcastle, we did Old Trafford in Manchester, it's all the way around actually. We did Old Trafford first, and then we did St. James's Park, and then we did Crystal Palace, uh, or Selhurst Park, uh, on the Monday. And over that three days, we met 4,000 plus people. So obviously meeting 4,000 people was very exhausting, because it was literally, for us, it was like 8 a.m. starts, uh, all the way up until like 7 p.m. every single day and then literally travel to the next place and then do it all over again. Very exhausting, it was a very enjoyable experience because we always love meeting all of you guys. I think 4,000 of you over three days is awesome. Like, you don't understand how many people that is. Um, so I know some people wanted to spend more time with us uh, and unfortunately you can get to, but a future event, you usually get to spend more time with us than just a quick picture and hello. Um, obviously we did our meetup event in Manchester uh, earlier in the year. We're trying to do some more of those where we like, have a very limited amount of tickets. But if you get to go, you get to spend four hours with us and we can chill, we can do stuff. Um, so hopefully we can do more of those events in the future as well. Every book tour ticket counted towards a sale uh, to our first week sales, which is also helps us get to number one. So thank you guys to everyone who came out. If you didn't come out, then hopefully I can see you guys in the future, uh, future events. We'll have upload coming uh, in two to three weeks time. So we're now working on that to make sure that gets all perfected and ready to go. And the actual final point here of this video is there are also some Cyber Clothing Halloween t-shirts that are going out tonight. If you're already out by the time this video goes out, and they may be sold out if they're not, you can pick one up. They're not going to be limited edition, they're just Halloween specials. They'll be out there forever anyway. But if you want to get one, then I'll link them below. Let me go find it real quick so I can show you what it looks like. So there are two of these t-shirts. They're basically Slime Green, which is this one, and Blood Red, which is this one. They're pretty awesome, they're Halloween themed. They're quite cool. So yeah, if you want to get one of those, they are on cyberclothing.com right now. And if they are not, then they'll probably be restocked at some point in the near future. And I know a lot of you guys always, always ask where tracksuits are. Uh, they're sold out right now, I believe. But we have loads of restocks coming in. So every product we ever do, if it sells out, then we usually get them restocked in this limited edition. And we're always working on more and more stuff. So let, always let Simon Clover know on Twitter what you guys want to see next, because we're always working on new stuff. But yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please leave a like on it. Uh, a bit of a different video, just me just waffling on basically. But I like doing these videos every once in a while to update you guys of what's going on in my life and everything else around Simon and stuff like that. So yeah, if you want to see more of these, let me know in the comments. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.